welcome to the project demonstration of solar and wind charging station for mobile phone and a laptop so here we are going to charge uh, two devices for the mobile phone and the uh, one laptop can be charged through this circuit so here we are using 12 volt 5 amp battery pack so which is a uh, providing a output of 60 watts of output from this battery pack through this inverter circuit for the laptop charging and through this USB ports we can charge a mobile phone and this can provide up to 2 amps of current which is uh, around of uh, 2 amps into 5, 10 watts of power will be generated from this one and here the mobile phone as well as the laptop charging selection will be done through this keypad and also we need to select the timer also initially the system will ask for which device you want to charging so this is the main on off switch and then uh, we need to select the 01 for the laptop 02 for the mobile phones and 03 for the both if you want to charge both at a time then you need to select the 03 then it is uh, it lasts for the number of seconds so triple nine is a maximum of seconds and 000 minimum so after entering that the system will switch on the respective device to be charged through this electromagnetic relays so we are using two relays one relay for the laptop charging and the relay for the mobile phone section charging purpose so and after time completes then automatically this relays will be switched off so here the power flow is we are going to use a wind generator 12 volts 20 watts solar panel 12 volts 20 watts so each solar panel provides as a 12 volt 10 watts 12 volt 10 watts and these two are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 20 watts of dc output and that will be input to this battery pack through this charging circuit ray. so we are using three charging circuits one is for the solar panel another is for the wind and there is for the grid whenever the solar sunlight or a wind is not available if you want to charge a battery then just connect this power cable to the 230 volts ac inputs then there we can see one light indication on the charging circuit so solar also gets switched on uh, low lighting on the solar panels that's why low intensity is there on the charging circuit so the battery uh, will get fully charged in a duration of six hours minimum eight hours maximum either from the wind or a solar or a grid input so if uh, three are available it will get fully charged in duration of two to three hours only there we get the around of 60 watts of power so the battery can charge in two hours maximum duration and uh, these charging circuits are main useful to uh, make the battery fully charged and after that they will protect the battery from the overcharging these three are available from the three sources so once the battery is fully charged so there's a main on off switch on and off so when we on that the output from this uh, battery pack is input to the inverting circuits and USB ports through this relays and directly to the Arduino you know and from there the system will start reading input from the input keypad and output is through the relays and uh, let us see the demonstration when we on this there we can see the welcome message on the LCD screen so then waiting for the input device so which device you want to on so let us go with the 0 and uh, 1 so only laptop and then seconds so when you want to enter enter the seconds we should enter the three digits if you want to enter 10 seconds that is zero one zero right so device laptop selected and device one got switched on the laptop got switched on and the timer also running over there so we can see the relays also now let us go with the zero two Number of seconds zero one five. Right now the mobile phone got switched on. So now it is charging. So we can charge two mobile phones at a time by connecting the cables to this USB ports and this relay will show the status of battery charging and timer is running. Automatically of that it will off. Now let us go with the zero three. So zero two zero. Right, relay and uh, laptop charger got switched on as well as mobile phone got switched on and the timer will be run over there and it will show the status of device which device you have selected to be run. So we have interfaced the keypad at pin number two two pin number eight and 10 and 11 interface to this relays and A0 to A5 interface for this uh, 16 by 2 LCD screen. So these are main inputs and outputs of our project.